one. This is part two of the video series. If you haven't watched the previous video, please go through it as this is the continuation of that series. So let's move on to the question for this video. Here, I want to display So here I will I want to display all the ratings for clothing ID 780 only. So in my Excel if I see there are three clothing IDs with the ID as 780 and the ratings are 553. So let me move on to my Power BI desktop. I'll use a table to show this data. So let me pull clothing ID. I'll just click on it. You can see a big number because the aggregation by default is count here. I need to change it. So apart from that, I need to pull the rating. So I'll click on that. Rating also has got the count here. Since I have to display only the clothing IDs of 780, I'll apply a filter here. This is a filter section. Here we can choose the filters which is which should be applied to this visual only. Um, we can use filters for this entire page. So I can just drag and drop my clothing ID here. Uh, I am using advanced filtering. Basic filtering will just give you the numbers to select. Here you can see that. So in advance, you can do some calculations like it is equal to greater than and all. So I'm pressing your 98780. And I click on apply filter. So here also, as you can see, our aggregation is count here. Count. That is why it is showing me three clothing IDs and ratings also has been counted here. Let me remove the aggregation here. I'll go to my rating and I'm uh, sorry, rating was sum by default. I will tell it, don't summarize it. So you can see we had, sorry. We have three clothing IDs here and the ratings are 553. So this we can see that there is a type of duplicate value here. So how does Power BI interrupt sets? Interpret it, sorry. So here we can see if I remove the count from here. <coughs> I can see only two values here. <coughs> Sorry. Even though the count was showing the correct number that is three clothing IDs, here I can see only two. It's very small, so we can format it from the format menu. The column headers are the headers here. We can increase the font and change the color type. <coughs> Similarly, for the values, we can do that. We'll just scroll down, we can see the values tab. Here we can format the values. For this situation, I was going through a tech note in Power BI, and I, I'll give the description, uh, I'll give the link of this in the description box. Here we can see the same issue is being presented here. If there are duplicate values that doesn't get reflected into Power BI as Power BI by default removes all the duplicates. So thank you for watching and stay tuned for more videos.